in a nutshell, is why trickle-down economics is a load of sh What is happening, kings and queens of fake Wall Street? John Ryan here with some tips for playing the stock market in Grand Theft Auto V. Uh, now, there are a lot of theories about there about how the in-game version of Wall Street works, and, uh, well, I know there's a lot of aspiring Gordon Geckos out there. It seems to me that you're going to have a little bit of a difficult time raking in millions without taking some time to plan ahead. Uh, first, I want to address something that has cropped up here and there across the Internet as one of those, you know, surefire ways to game the market. Uh, it's a tactic that I've tried a lot over the last week and haven't seen any real results from. Uh, you know, of course, let me preface that by saying that I only have my own experiences to go off of, uh, so if you've noticed that it works or something different and can prove me wrong, by all means, let us know in the comments below or on our wiki at IGN.com slash wikis slash GTA 5. Uh, so this biggest claim that I've heard going around in the last week or so is that you can pit competing companies against one another. Uh, the line of thinking goes that if I wreck a bunch of stuff owned by one company, their stock will go down, and the other guy, the guy that I've invested my money with, uh, their stock will go up. And I don't buy it. I've been at this for a few days now, in, I mean real days, not in-game ones, and I haven't seen any conclusive evidence that this theory is correct. Uh, I've invested a fair amount of money into Taco Bomb, whose rival is allegedly the Cluckin Bell. Uh, and then proceeded to spend the next several hours, that was about four days in-game, uh, rampaging around their corporate headquarters. You know, I was blowing up trucks, setting fire to their offices. I even went so far as to just mercilessly run down all their employees in the parking lot. Four days of this corporate sabotage, and the thousands more dollars spent on top of my initial investment for medical bills and explosives. When I bought up the Taco Bomb stock, it was sitting at about $113.23 a share, and Cluck and Bell was around $149.07. And at the end of my almost week-long rampage, Taco Bomb stocks hadn't risen at all. In fact, they'd sunk to $112.97 a share, and CNB only lost $0.07 cents per share. Oh, but that's just one example, you might say. But okay, fine, sure, whatever. Uh, Burger Shot, that was worth $82.41 per share when I decided to invest, and Up and Adam Burger was at $225.66. Uh, several days and a bunch of explosives later, Up and Adam had gone down only three cents, and Burger Shot was down by almost twenty. When I said, "Okay, fine, I'll put my money into Air Emu and unleash hell on Fly US and pretty much any other corporate logo that happened to be at Los Santos International," that's when I saw my first gain, and that was a mighty eight cents a share. And Fly US's value had also increased by ten cents a share. It was basically around this point that I decided that I would just quit while I still had some dignity left. So it seems to me that the LCN exchange is pretty much based on, you know, an algorithm that, like, randomizes uh, the ups and downs of that particular market. The boss act, however, haha, <laughs> gross, uh, is connected to the social club and changes based on what members of the community are doing in the game, and oh my god, no! <laughs> Alright, so I put a bunch of money into ammunition, figuring that their stock would only go up, but for whatever reason, maybe you guys have already have all the ammo you need, or somebody out there found a new weapon sheet that I don't know about, but as of right now, it looks like I've lost about 72 grand. Oh, however, though, it looks like I lucked out with my investment in Hawk and Little. Uh, they're an arms manufacturer, and since their stock has shot up practically overnight, and wow, that 72 grand of ammunition cost me is petty cash compared to that almost 6 million I just made off H&L. That's a 600% return on my initial investment coming back to me. It also tells me that you gamers out there are using plenty of guns, but not actually paying for them. As I said earlier, however, it does take some foresight to really make big money off GTA V stock market. And trying to guess just how many times some guy in Nebraska is going to need new body armor isn't really the only way to do that. In the single player game, there are a couple of bumps that you'll get from playing side missions. Uh, one is a random event that you'll find along the Great Ocean Highway. A Wall Street type from Liberty City, he needs a ride to the airport. Ah, oh, shit, for sure, man. Come on, I'll give you a ride. I'm unbelievably late for a flight. I need to get to the airport fast. If you get him to his flight on time, he'll give you advice to invest in the wireless company called Tinkle. I think I can still make it. Buddy, I owe you big time. Okay, here's my tip. Buy shares in Tinkle now. You won't regret it. Uh, briefly, just take all your money and shove it into that. And you'll see about a 
30% return on your initial investment. The most important key, though, to amassing, you know, a Scrooge McDuck-style swimming pool full of money uh, is a series of missions that Franklin gets from Lester. Now, you've got to do the first one in order to progress through the story. It's the hotel assassination. But for God's sakes, wait until after you finish the main story to complete the other two. This is the single best piece of advice I can give to somebody playing this game when it comes to money. The other one would be don't get shot in the face too many times. Uh, now, if you've already passed these missions and you know you don't want to go back, I'm sorry, but it's kind of too late for you. Uh, for those of you who have yet to tackle them, however, just keep waiting. Wait until you finish the main story. Uh, trying to keep spoilers to a minimum, but you make a lot of money at the end of the game. And saving Lester's two other assassination missions is your chance to triple or maybe even quintuple your earnings. Okay. Probably not quintuple, but, you know, maybe double or triple. Uh, as the first one alone, when you invest into it, uh, usually that's a return percentage of about 80%. You know, we'll fix the market in our favor and we'll right a few wrongs while we're at it. <laughs> Shit, okay, cool. Apart from those few missions, however, it seems that success in the stock market in GTA V is pretty much randomized. Uh, if you have any personal tips, tricks, or ways to game the system, you know, and make Michael Douglas proud, be sure to let us know in the comments below and add your thoughts to the GTA V wiki. In the meantime, though, for all your Grand Theft Auto needs, you're already in the right place here at IGN. Cheers! Cheers! <laughs>